Hello guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math Channel. And today, I'm going to, you know, talk about determining the free de degree of freedom in the chi-square distribution. So, uh, in this video, I will give a general idea of uh, on how to get the degree of freedom for the chi-square distribution. And a lot of people have been asking, why do we choose n minus 1 where n is equal to the number of points in the sample or number of data in the sample instead of n all right when determining the degrees of freedom in the chi-square distribution all right so before uh we come to that we just have you know uh get to know about the basics of the chi-square distribution so based on the definition of the chi-square distribution supposingly i have a data point x or a random variable x that is generated from a standard normal distribution so when we define as standard normal um, it means that this random variable is sampled from a normal distribution with mean zero and variance one and hence standard deviation is equals to one. All right, so if you were to square this random variable, x, right? So this itself, okay, this itself, it's also a random variable. And this random variable would be, okay, would be from a chi-square distribution, okay? chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom let's call this chi-square distribution with one degree of freedom so the subscript down here represents the degree of freedom okay and then the next thing that i'm going to talk about is supposingly i have two random variables let's call this x1 and x2 and x1 and x2 follows a standard normal with mean 0 and 1. So the sum of xi square. So if you were to take the x and square the random variables and sum it up, all right, that's from i from 1 to 2. So this itself is a random variable and this random variable follows a chi-square distribution with two degrees of freedom all right and just to give a general idea on the degrees of freedom supposingly i have um, a sample of x's let's say for example x one to xn all right there's n sample points in the sample in which each of this xn follows a normal standard normal distribution with mean zero and one all right and then the sum okay of this or the sum of square of the axis from i is equals to 1 to n all right this itself is a random variable which follows a chi-square distribution with n degrees of freedom all right so basically the general idea on how to get the degree of freedom in a chi-square distribution is number one supposedly my xi's are generated from a standard normal with mean 0 and 1 and number 2 all right after that we count the number of data points in a sample so let's say my sample itself is standard normal and then I have 10 sorry my data points is standard normal and I have 10 data points in the sample so my degree of freedom is 10 
So that explains part one. So how about part two, whereby people actually talk about why n minus one instead of uh, n? So let me just remove uh, this part of the um, page itself, and then I'm going to explain why sometimes when we do, you know the chi-square distribution or chi-square test itself, our degree of freedom is n minus 1 instead of n. So what's up about it? Okay, what happens is that because, all right, imagine you have, okay, xi, all right, okay. So this xi itself, it follows a normal distribution, but it's not following a standard normal distribution, all right. Uh, it, it has a mean of mu, let's say sigma square, uh, variance is sigma square, whereby your mu is unknown and needs to be estimated. Okay. Well, supposedly, all right, before you even square this okay first thing first because the general definition uh, of chi-square distribution is that your xi's must be a standard normal but in this case my xi itself is not standard normal but it's distributed uh it's, it came from a normal distribution between mu and sigma squared first thing that you have to do is to convert to standard normal so first thing you do is convert to standard normal so how do you convert itself is just basically taking the xi minus mu over sigma all right and let's call this a uh, random variable y so this itself is a random variable all right this itself is actually a random variable let's call this yi all right and then if you were to square your yi all right this will follow you know a chi-square distribution all right so first thing that you need to understand is that your xi itself must be converted to the standard normal before you can actually square and that considered this random variable as a chi-square distribution, right? Well, the problem is that because mu is unknown, all right, let's say for example, uh, I have another case, all right, if you have xi, x1, you know, xi, x1 to xn, all right, they follow not a standard normal distribution, but they follow a normal distribution with mean, mu, and uh, uh, sigma square, whereby your mu is unknown. All right. So of course, the first things first, because of the definition of a chi-square distribution, your xi must be uh, standard normal. So we have to convert into a standard normal random variable. So you take x uh, i minus away mu over sigma, and and this itself, you know, if I were to square it, this itself will follow a chi-square distribution. All right, and with a degree of freedom of n minus one. But the question now is why minus one? Okay, the minus one actually comes from the losing of this degree of freedom to estimate my mu. Okay, it's because my mu is actually unknown. All right. So basically, just to sum up, okay, why n minus one instead of n is because first thing first, your xi itself, they are not, it's not standard normal. Okay. And you, and the second main reason is actually because your mu has to be estimated. All right, so the idea is that as long as a parameter has to be estimated, you have to subtract one, okay, from the degree of freedom. So basically just a general guideline of the degree of freedom. So the degree of freedom depends on number of points in the sample and two, number of parameters has to be estimated, having to be estimated. 
So number of points in sample, let's say for example, I have 10 points in the sample, degree of freedom is 10, but let's say if I have the number of uh, one parameters, which is mu, has to be estimated, we have to subtract one degree of freedom away from uh, the number itself. So hence, you know, there's always n minus one instead of n. It's a bit difficult to understand, but uh, the general idea is that you need to understand about the definition of uh, the random variable of a chi-square distribution. The, the most important thing is that your x size itself has to be a standard normal before you can square it. All right, and that's it uh, from me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if there's any questions, do comment in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.